This is deafening Rick here. They've These gone These have got into super attack mode, haven't they? Look. Yeah. They've Try gone. Try to take this brick out so that we can block these holes. Oh my God, this is terrifying. They're, they're, Boys. They're, they're trying to sting my hands like you wouldn't believe. Look all around your head. They've gone so aggressive, it's unbelievable. Ooh, here we are then, the bee removal from hell, I think this is going to be. We've literally only just come up here, the bees have gone absolutely insane. Yesterday, while we were taking this colony out, which is a smaller colony, which was also a pain in the butt, uh, we've already exposed the colony here. Annoyingly on this one, a very important bit of anyone who's going to be taking bees out of a chimney or your house, they must do a survey, a thorough survey. Look at them going for my hand up already. Part of the survey is to find out how deep the colony goes down chimneys and where it actually is. It's very, very important. You must get that. You must get that. Anyone who comes to you to take bees out your chimney who doesn't do a survey, get rid of them. The reason we didn't know exactly where the bottom of this one was was because the chimneys on this had been altered so many times in the 200 years of this building being here. We couldn't actually get the camera where we wanted to. We've had to Annoyingly, we've now found out we've got this huge, huge colony, which is a lot bigger than we wanted it to be. But what we're using now is our depth tech. That We think that's the bottom of the comb, and now we know it's the bottom of the comb, because we can see in there, that's the wall of the chimney down there. And if I pull back up, we need to get that safety board in. So look at the bees going mental at that camera. <laughs> that's the bottom of the comb there. Look. That's the newest comb. So it's literally, we're pretty close. Look at them going at that. Oh, I'm going to turn this off because yeah, we need to get some off, smoke as well. Because yeah, and then I'm going to get the bee back on this one. We don't re usually, we don't like to use the bee back, but when you've got a colony this size and this aggressive, the only way to do it is by sucking them up into the vacuum. Ow, I've got strung on my head through my veil. Okay, let's get on with this, dude. This is going to be no fun at all. Especially on a Sunday or a Saturday yeah, even. Saturday, I don't even know what day. Hey there fellow bee enthusiasts. Are you all buzzing with excitement from the bee removal videos on our Pest Interceptors channel? If you're craving even more sweet and satisfying content, our sister channel, Hems's Holistic Honey, is where we put all our bee removal videos. By subscribing to Hems's Holistic Honey, not only will you never miss a bee rescue operation, but you'll also be showing your support for the important work we do in preserving and protecting the bee population. Don't wait any longer. Pop over to Hems's Holistic Honey and click that subscribe button and join our hive of bee lovers today. Looking at getting into beekeeping yourselves and you want some beehives or some bee equipment, maybe you'll love our shop. Links in the description below. Look at these beautiful hives that we're doing. Absolutely fantastic, eh? So we're taking all these other sections out now just to so that we can manhandle the comb itself. I think, Rick, what we're going to do is take this sheet out here because it looks like it's just a corner piece. In theory, it should be the easy one to come out, but let's see if it's attached to the comb behind it. This comb up here is, uh, I think it's that old. The queen's not been able to lay anything in there. You can almost see how rounded off the hexagon shapes are. Yeah. And that's why the queen hasn't laid anything in this area up here. All the honey is, oh, sorry, all the brood is in these four frames in here. That was all at the bottom in the newer stuff. So the day goes on. And what we've got here, here's a piece of the cut, the honeycomb or the colony that we don't want. If you look in there, Rick, you can see that comb right at the back, the last sheet out of this next section. That's actually a drone brood area. They can't put any more eggs in because basically the, the propolis has built up that much, the queen can't lay eggs in there. So what they're doing is they're filling it with honey, you know, waste not, want not, these old bees. But we don't want it either, so that's going in the rubbish bag. So we've took the lid off. It's a bit strange why this comb looks a lot newer, because you'd expect it to be the oldest comb being at the top. It smells amazing. We've still got about two and a half feet, three feet left. Oh, four feet left, I'd say. A lot of, lot of bees. Quite a row, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We're managing to get these into that nuke now. For about how much do you reckon we've got left? A uh, quarter? This far, this much, but it's just all pure honey. Yeah, it's insane, the amount of honey that's here. A bit left, I reckon. 
but annoyingly, we might have to take these bits out from the top. Just look at that. It literally looks like a human brain. Looks amazing. I mean, in a moment, once they've all festooned onto the front of that, because they keep blocking the entrance, I'll just scoop them into the actual top. This must all be joined up, hasn't it? Why would you build it like this, silly bees? The air conditioning. Well, there's what, one of the bit. Look at that solid honey, man. That dark the honey is. Keep it going. It's so heavy and so soft. Ah. That's really clear on that side. I want to eat that. Look at that drone. It's got itself stuck in there. That's brilliant. Oh, I'm not even gripping that. That's just squashing all the, the wax cat pins. <coughs> oh man, what about if I hook it? Oh crap! <coughs> oh no, it's just put a massive hole in there. <coughs> wow. That. Right. Oh. Going on with us, son. Yeah, I think so. Cut the brood off the bottom. Okay. Um, I haven't really got that. Okay. Um, all right. I'm putting the camera down because I can't do this yeah. with one hand. Right, that was some mayhem, Rick. Yeah, we didn't get much of that on camera. <laughs> but anyway, wow. we've took them out of the bee back. Uh, we've sucked them into there. We're not sure if the queen just decided to. Uh, well, as soon as we took the, the end yeah. off the bee yeah, back, they, they came bit... shooting out, didn't they? Yeah, they went a bit mental. They have ended up over there. So the it's only a tiny, out. tiny little clump of yeah. there, right? A tiny clump. But they have been checking that out for like all the last two days that we've been so here. So we kind of just need to let them settle where they're going to settle, because if they are swarming at the moment, they just need to be left alone. And hopefully they land either. This chimney that they ended up in, which we tried our best to prove, and it just goes to show that you can do as much as you want, um, but sometimes it's just... But on the plus side, all the colonies are out of there. He says. It's not full of bees in there, is it? Where are they going? It might make them a less, little bit less stingy now, anyway. Yeah. Wow, that was insane. Sorry I didn't get it on camera. Uh, they might end up back in there. But well, that might do us a favour because they're not going to run out. They clump up. Yeah, if they're in a clump, it's easy to deal with. It's when they're like this that they're not easy to deal with. Let's um, hope they don't end up. That chimney. I do find it a bit weird. That happened to me the other day. I opened up a colony and the queen just flew out immediately. It's like, how does the queen know where the entrance was, especially on a bee vac? Yeah. How do they get to the front, man? Don't know whether we should maybe close that up a bit more yeah. now. Just make a small event on it, see if we can get them. With the, the gentle pressure of that, they should start to go in. Well, there was loads on the back, you know that bit there? There was loads there, orienting. Yeah, well the smell will come out the front. This is bee madness. Literally bee madness. Bees everywhere. 